Throughout much of history, mankind was presented with the problem of constantly being stuck on the ground. It took a couple hundred years, but eventually it was discovered that the effects can be combated through the generation of lift. What is lift exactly? Lift is a force caused by a difference in pressure. When a fluid such as air flows around an object, an area of high pressure will form on one surface and an area of low pressure will form on another. The lift force will be directed from the high pressure to the low pressure side. An object such as an airplane wing is known as an airfoil. When an airfoil is viewed in a wind tunnel with streams of a contrasting color, the effects of the airfoil on the air can be easily seen. Air will travel along the surface of the airfoil. When the air contacts the leading surface, the velocity decreases while the air traveling around the other surface maintains its velocity. Using a pulsed stream of smoke, it can be easily seen that the air moving across the upper surface travels further than the air being slowed down by the lower surface. Airfoils are not the only objects that can see lift or drag. An airfoil is an optimized design to generate the maximum lift versus drag. Some everyday objects can also see the effects of lift and drag. A ping pong ball can float on a column of air due to these effects. The air can flow at almost any angle while still maintaining the ability to float. Like the airplane wing, an area of high pressure forms at the surface contacting the direction of flow. However, instead of lift, a force known as drag keeps the ball afloat. Drag is a force parallel to the direction of flow, while lift is perpendicular. This can also be seen with heavier objects, such as a screwdriver, with higher flow velocity. The screwdriver will remain upright due to the effects of the pressure of the air surrounding the screwdriver. The amount of lift generated can be found mathematically using the lift equation. The amount of lift is found by multiplying one half of the air density times the square of the flow velocity times the surface area times the coefficient of lift. The drag equation is very similar to the lift equation, only differing in the direction of force and using the drag coefficient as opposed to the lift coefficient. There is a third component to the effects called a moment acting on the wing. Essentially, as the flow travels around the airfoil at an angle, which is called the angle of attack, the moment causes the airfoil to minimize the angle. The value of this moment is similar to the previous two equations, but also takes into account the cord length and the moment coefficient. It must be noted that the coefficients of lift, drag, and the moment are all variables directly related to the angle of attack. As the angle of attack increases, the values of the coefficients of lift and drag will increase, while the moment coefficient will decrease. While the most well-known application of lift is its association with flight, there are other practical uses for the phenomenon. When reversed, a principle called downforce is applied. The most common instance of the effect can be seen in auto racing. Additional traction can be obtained by using downforce without adding any additional weight to the car. Seen here is a 1988 Honda Civic with a section of a wing from a Cessna 152 mounted on the roof. The wing is anchored with a 200 pound strut on the rear which, at low velocity, raises the angle of attack. At higher velocities, the down force causes the wing to flatten out, resulting in minimum drag allowing for maximum speed. So while lift is a phenomenon very useful for getting you up in the air, it's also great for keeping you on the ground. <laughs>